So people just keep asking, um, why are we calling it a venue? Why is the name, the word church not going to be on the building? And quite simply, uh, this isn't church, right? Like we're the church. Bricks um, are not the church, but bones are. And so uh, we're very excited to be in a place. And I guess maybe here's some perspective for you. If you think of it this way, I've got a scripture in Luke. It says, two others also who were criminals were led away to be put to death with him. When they came to the place that is called the skull, it's capitalized, they crucified Jesus there with the criminals, one on his right and one on his left. Our best example of love, and that is the work of the church, it's love, it's, it's Jesus, it's his methods and his patterns, it happens at Golgotha on a cross between criminals. And yet for the last 100 years, we've been making our primary meeting place and our primary place of turning on our, the job of the church in a space just for Christians. And if at the very least, our greatest act is happening next to criminals, can't we make a place like the skull that isn't just for criminals, isn't just for Christians, but is quite literally for everyone. We need to redeem our theology of space and act in the way that Jesus acted and love in the way that God loved. Um, in spaces that aren't just for Christians. And so we're calling this place a venue because we're doing music and we're doing um, coffee and we're doing hangout. And it's not all about church and Christian people. It's about everyone. And it's about bringing that love to those spaces.